Hello and welcome to my new project, which is called the Polish Legends. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, I was born in Zakopane. Zakopane is located uh, in the hearts of the highest Polish uh, mountains, uh, Tatra Mountains. Uh, and there is one mountain uh, that is always associated with Zakopane. It's called Giewont. Giewont has a very unique uh, shape. It looks a little bit like a sleeping knight. Uh, the part with the cross on the right uh, resembles a head. Uh, and then on the left you can see the rest uh, of the body. And the legend connected to Gavon is, of course, a legend connected uh, to a sleeping knight. Or knights. Uh, I prefer the one with the knights. Uh, uh, and the legend tells a story of a little boy, a little shepherd boy, uh, named uh, Yashko. Let's call him let's say, Johnny, uh, and uh, Yashko uh, heard a story about a uh, big treasure that was located uh, on the Gevont mountain. Uh, there are a lot of caves uh, that are located in the northern uh, part of the mountain. The northern part is the one visible uh, from Zakopane, that one that resembles uh, the sleeping night. Uh, then Yashko uh, went uh, to Gevont Mountain uh, and he was looking for that treasure. His search took a lot of, a lot of time. Uh, in the evening he was very, very tired. He sat down, uh, he took out some food, some water, uh, and he wanted to eat uh, his um, meal. Meanwhile, he heard horses. Hmm. There weren't any horses nearby. Uh, horses were very, very expensive. People of Zakopane and of the nearby villages were always very, very poor. Uh, so he started looking for the source of that sound. Then he spotted a little hole in the ground. Uh, he knelt by it. He looked at it. He studied. And then he heard uh, some more horse whinny. Uh, and he squeezed his way uh, into the hole. Uh, then he discovered a cave. And inside the cave uh, there were horses. Hmm. Alive, but no food. Nobody to take care of them. Hmm. He started exploring some more. And he discovered a knight. Sleeping knight in his armor. Well, no treasures. Somebody armed. Yashko decided to run away, but he tripped uh, over the rock, and the sleeping knight woke up. He looked at him, and uh, he asked, Is it time? Yashko was scared, but he decided to say something, and he said, N -n -n No, it's not. Oh, good said the knight. Hmm. He didn't seem to be eager to kill him. So Yashko decided to ask the question. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, said the knight, we are guarding the biggest treasure of all. Yashko looked around. No treasures, no chests with gold. Mm. But, uh, but, 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 but the knight interrupted him. Wake us up when it's time. And he fell asleep again. Uh, Yashko ran to his village. He decided to tell no one of his adventure. But then he met the old shepherd that told him the story in the first place. Uh, and he decided to tell him that the story was true. The old shepherd heard of Yashko's adventure, uh, and he asked him uh, if he knew uh, what was the treasure. And um, Yashko said that he had no idea. So the old man told him uh, that the knights in the mountain are guarding uh, the most important treasure of all, our freedom. And the time for their awaking will be when Poland will be in peril. 
As you can see, this is the same kind of story as the story of the Warsaw Mermaid that will also come to our aid in a time of greatest need. Uh, but I like that story too. The knights were always associated with um, with the knights of our greatest uh, Polish kings. There's also a story that uh, every year there is a night uh, when the gathering of the kings is held in the Wawel Castle uh, and the knights uh, from uh, all the kingdom are rushing to hear the will of the kings. Uh, the knight, the sleeping knight uh, from the Gewand Mountains also rising uh, and going to Krakow, which is not far from Zakopane, only 100 kilometers. Uh, but then, as the time is not right yet, he always returns to our Gewand Mountain and we can admire it from below, from Zakopane. Please tell me if you want to hear some more uh, Polish legends, uh, maybe some stories of the Polish ghosts. I, I like them very, very much. That's why I'm proposing this to you. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, next week we will return to Warsaw. I'm going to show you the place that's definitely less known, uh, even to people that live in Warsaw. Uh, I think that you will like uh, the story next week. It's rather grim, but it's very interesting. Uh, as usual, you will find the details of my social media below. I also added uh, a link uh, to buy me a coffee collection. If you want to buy me a coffee or a beer, uh, feel free to donate. If not, just feel free to return to this channel and listen to my stories. Uh, and uh, till next time.